Hello, and welcome to my live stream for the Sandland demo. Sorry for pausing awkwardly. I'm still trying to make sure that I'm sounding okay. Uh, hopefully this is just gonna end a lot better than it did the last time I tried doing this. And like I said, the last time I tried doing this, um, I played the demo at Comic-Con in San Diego about a year ago, and it was pretty fun. Although I didn't really do much. I just kept driving around in a little art. Anyway, let's see if this demo is the same. Anyway, this is the first time I'm actually turning it on. Content and game balance demo different from what the full version is going to be. Okay. Nah. This is different. I remember the demo at Comic-Con. It actually started from the beginning when you're being chased by some giant um, sandworm monster. Ate all your food and water. Anyways, in this demo, you can explore and fight enemies in the following three vehicles. The battle tank, the motorbike, and battle armor. Come on, call it what it is. A mech suit. <laughs> you can recover your vehicle's HP by risking out a camp. Yeah, move around. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try the mech. Oh, cool. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's autopilot. All right. Melee attack. A special attack. Ready weapon. Shoot. Reload. Guard. All right. Uh, if you drain your boost gauge. Okay. Option parts. Option modules have various effects. Use them to gain advantage in battle. Okay. What if you can custom make a paint job? Oh, it comes with a machine gun. Prince, would you please let me have the next turn at the wheel? Rock, paper, scissors me for it. You're on. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Yay! I win! Ah, I'll get you next time. Alright, let's go for the tank. Oh, nice. Hold on. Custom make vehicle. Hmm. I wonder if you can actually like change the uh, aesthetics. Like you can change the uh, appearance of. Yeah, I think that's got more downsides than ups. I'm done with a Gatling gun. Again, I think, uh... Whoa. Is that a double barrel? All right. I'm going with this. All right, what kind of... Oh, it's got a shotgun. I'm going with the shotgun. Oh, mini Gatling guns. Definitely going with that one. Intercept drone. Drone automatically fires at incoming enemy missiles. Oh, double beacon. Slows a beacon that places an interest as fast travel points.
Okay, less ammo, but I think the shotgun looks more badass on the mech. Uh, I'm getting those because it looks cooler. Huh. I think it looks better like that. Huh. But I wonder if you can like give it like a uh, paint jobs or something. in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. I wonder if you can loot them. This is fun so far. Oh. It disappeared! The fuck? Is it awesome? Also, yes. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Uh, there are type of quest that I can do. Or is that this is just gonna be it for the demo? Just me going around hooting at people. I hope the whole game isn't gonna be like this, where it's just one big, massive open area. Have some stuff in there. Oh, you know what? I remember hearing that they're gonna make a show on Hulu. I don't know if they've already uh, started uh, broadcasting it or not. Well, a Gatling gun certainly doesn't have a high capacity. Let's try the bike. Uh, motorbike user guide. Right. Yeah, pretty much the same. You're a weird one, old man. Doing all this to find water for other people. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Huh. I guess. Shit. 
shit, I'm going over the tank. Fuck, I'm in mech. Leave. Leave from my mighty mech. I'm a demon, I'm not supposed to be nice. Getting the buttons mixed up for some reason. It's weird. Yeah. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption and also Starfield. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like the definition of calm. All this is made. Come on, hurry up and die already. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Damn bullet sponges. It's gone. Wow, I gotta stay within a certain field or I'll have to start all over. I forgot how to reload for a second. Looks like there's something up there. We could reach it. If we had a vehicle that could jump. I love doing that. I've got this. Check that out then. Oh my god, I'm reminded of that tank from One Piece. Hostiles. It, it combines into... into a giant robot. It was really cool. Oh shit, that's a boss?
My fucking tank, my brain man can't do that. Shooting lasers? Get it fixed up, that is. Use materials to repair the radio. Okay. We can repair it. Just need materials. Hmm. Ah, I try to hit the no. Hey, I can look around. Hopefully, find the parts I need. Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Crafts, agriculture, hunting, trade, it's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. Took quite a beating. Here we go. To enemies in the desert. Taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? Nice! One down! When you run into enemies in the desert, taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. Okay, that's the... Campsite. going that way. bodies can't digest a lot of them and then there's others that are downright poisonous to us <laughs> humans just have weak stomachs so you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything impressive of course not silly I see oh maybe I can get inside I can get inside. Yeah, I can fix the radio tower. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the fiend prince. I'm like the definition of calm. Uh -huh. I just remembered. Okay, so when I was at the Comic-Con convention, I got to go inside a 
Ugh. We got inside this tank. It, it's just... It's kind of like the one I'm driving, but very different. Like it had a big scary face painted on it and everything. It was pretty cool, I think. That was just a weird way of me seeing that. We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. But I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, please at least try to be sneaky about it. You know, it's still in a lot of video games, are. Uh... A lot more war than being in combat. A few games that come into mind are uh, Deus Ex Machina and uh, Dishonored. Ah, uh, shit. Um, what else? There was a lot of other games where stealth. You're a weird one, old man. Doing all this to find water for other people. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Anyway, again, I don't have a machine that can be able to scale that. Uh, I guess. Oh, wait, you know what? Short step backpack. Oh, what the fuck? If a bow's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing as too tough for me. Try something out. I don't know what the hell I'm going with this. Goes too tough. You can always run away and live to fight another day. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if I can be able to hijack them or not, but I don't think I can. Eh. I just, no I remembered in the dem, in the, someone playing the demo back in Comic-Con, they got this, they managed to get a tank from somebody, but I have no idea how they did it. That turns out not to be true. All right, all right, fine. Well, we'll go.
see. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? I'm actually interested in hearing that one. Record of us moving. Staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance. Maybe you humans should try moving less. Everyone's got their own methods of survival. If it keeps you alive, then it works. so fun to use this. Fuck! Okay, now I'm... I think using the... shotgun... Anyway, using the shotgun might be a mistake. I should stick with the machine gun. I wonder if I can get a flashlight. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. There's hidden treasure too. Maybe it was at our playground? One dangerous place to leave your children. <sighs> I can't get over how fun it is to pilot this thing. Okay, there we go. Well, it goes. Eh, at least that was sort of fun. Sort of, it was awesome. Fear me and my mighty tank. Keep driving around in style. I still can't come to terms with just how fast the outside world is. I don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicles. But it used to be even bigger, and there were no vehicles. Civilization truly made the world smaller. Man, I'm good. Here we go. It's 
sweet. Uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna need this. Isn't this so cool? We're exploring ruins, guys! Now, Prince, do be careful. You never know what might jump out at us. Fuck. Don't worry. Whatever it is, I'll beat it up. I have no doubt that he is capable of doing that. Ah, fuck. All right, I got it. Uh, assuming my followers stay out of my way, I should be able to do this. Okay. Prince, would you please let me have the next turn at the shit? All right, one more time. Got it. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Do I gotta start? Oh, wait. No. No, I'm, uh, I'm okay. Well, the important thing is I don't need to start all the way back. Prince, do be careful. You never know what might jump out at us. Don't worry. Whatever it is, I'll beat it up. Especially with the mech suit. Oh, I gotta switch back to the tank. Shit. Squished for a sec. Check out this side room. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. There's hidden treasure too. Maybe it was I don't know, a playground. One dangerous place to leave your children. Ah uh, man. I love how this all whole thing looks. Isn't this so cool? We're exploring ruins, guys. Now, Prince, do be careful. You never know what might jump out at us. I think I just went around in a big circle. Whatever it is, I'll beat it up. I did. I went around in a circle. When you're at, when you run out of ammo. Nice. One down. Yeah, I'd say everyone is down and out. I feel like that this is going to be one of those games where the open world is just too big 
with not a lot activities. I traveled around to all sorts of places in my youth, but there's still so much to see. This trip should be fun for you then. Wish I could just relax and enjoy it, but not when so many others are suffering. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm really hoping that this game doesn't go into that whole trend that's going on lately where they're making massive worlds but barely putting anything in it. Don't get me wrong, so far in this demo they're showing some cool side activities, but given how big they're going, it, I, I'm bored. This whole stream's boring. Yeah, I'm throwing in some awesome stuff when I'm just shooting at guys, but... It's I've just... heard rumors of creatures of tremendous power in this land. You never know when you might run across one of them. Oh yeah, I think I heard Father say that before. That's you demons, isn't it? Well, I suppose there's always someone stronger. Well, no matter how tough they are, there's no way they can be stronger than the King of Demons. Another old ruin. I wiped them all out. Oh yeah. Um. Hold up. Are these ruins? Looks that way, but we've got a far more pressing issue. With the bridge collapsed, we aren't going to be able to reach the entrance on foot. Must be something we can use to cross. Let's start searching for a way across then. Uh, anyway, uh, right, I was actually going to talk about a quest in Starfield. If you, um, decide to become a Freestar Ranger, you'll end up getting involved in this big conspiracy, and it, it's this whole thing, and if you complete the whole thing, you'll get this really badass ship. Not the point, though. The point is, is that the... It's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers' abandoned belongings or usable equipment. Anyway, so, uh, near the end of it, though, you end up encountering the mastermind behind this conspiracy named Ron Ho. He's the CEO of this, um, corporation called Hope Tech. And he like was doing... Thief. And he was using some crazy Merc group to steal farmland because it's this whole thing. But he threatens to kill you with his security forces if you, like, point is he threatens you. I feel like that would have been better if you had, like, some kind of intimidation stat where you would have mentioned about how, like, you know I killed off the entire first, right? And I'm pretty sure he'd be so like still driving through this boring desert. Thief. No any jokes? What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. Well, the prince is right. This is boring. 
Though it is a demo, though, I really shouldn't complain. I think it's still a pretty well-made demo. It all looks pretty amazing right now. Anyway, so I was talking about a quest from uh, Starfield. You find out that a mercenary group called the First is responsible for all, all these horrible things happening to farmers. You confront the guy who hired them, Ron Hope. Still can't come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Ah, God damn it! I don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicles. But it used to be even bigger, and there were no vehicles. Anyway, the point is, is that uh, I think that there should have been an option not to kill him, and at the same time reveal the whole truth behind the conspiracy. That truth. Being that, you know, he's the one responsible for it all. And, like, you could have said, you know I killed the entire first Calvary, right? Every single one of them. And, you know, I, I don't imagine he, he'd still backed all confident about it and... Oh, wait, I should have went hit night. Anyway, so, um, like, you could have intimidated him into coming in quietly. Especially since if the security group heard about how he took a grenade to the face and walked it off, I think they would have been all like, Oh, fuck this. I ain't getting involved with this shit. You're on your own, boss. Yeah. I guess I explored everything. I can't get into that temple. I'm sure there might be a way for me to do that. We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main road. Is there a main road? Oh, I can run the enemies over. I'm not finding that big ass scorpion. They roam nope. over sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. Yeah, except most of the uh, fellow travelers are a bunch of people who try to kill you. Are there even any roads around here? I think it's unfair that they get laser eyes for their mechs. Oh wait, let's see what uh, Thief can do. Absolute murder on my hairstyle. Fuck. That was close. Anyways, I don't think I got the parts, but I thought, hey, why not Roman fight off the mix? We can use we can repair it. Just need materials. Yeah, I ain't got the materials. Yeah. I don't know why I keep picking that one. I still can't come to terms. Uh, anyway, I think I explored everywhere I can possibly go with this demo. I'm sure there might be some more stuff here, but uh, yeah, there is. According to the score thing, but. There's, it, it's just so big, 
and I think this has gone on long enough. I'm bored. But still, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. If you did, please follow for more.